Hi Virgo and welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you're having a good 2020 New Year so far. Um, I'm a bit late I know with this month's readings but I'm here now. Um, probably for returners as well you're noticing something a bit different here um, because I received a comment that um, I don't deal and shuffle on camera which is true um, and that they don't think it's genuine which isn't true. <laughs> um, the main reason is just because I meditate on the cards and just to save time but I appreciate that you know some people like to see it and um, I generally don't I just skip that and just sort of watch a reading but that's just I know it's personal preference so I'm going to do it this way for you so you can see I am genuine and um, you know I wouldn't do this otherwise this is this is like my calling I feel so okay Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus um, a few messages came out um, earlier. Now I did get fire, interestingly enough, that came through a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could be on your mind. Um, the person may be uh, at a distance, and they may be slow moving, but they are coming towards you. That's for a select few of you. The person or you, someone's like quite protective over uh, sort of showing emotions. Could be the other person, so I'm feeling. They're, they're slow coming in. They're kind of um, treading on, what's the word, sorry. Um, <laughs> Sorry, this happens when I've, I've got lots of messages coming in. Um, they're kind of treading slow, treading carefully. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. Okay. Anything else for Virgo? Yeah, this is a repeat card as well. This came through. So a message potentially in in divine timing though. Okay, um two for your future. Oh with the tower I think we need another card there to clarify we've got two here okay Virgo um so these I mean these bottom cards your current energy are quite positive you've got two tens actually um so an end of a cycle um, could be could be what's happening for you at the moment um, but a good vibe with the Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups a good vibe potentially with this fire sign that I picked up on earlier um, Aries Leo Sagittarius so things might have might have changed or might be changing with this person um, you might come into union with them, uh, might have a, quite a strong connection. Now here as well we've got a potential couple with the Ace of Wands here, so there could be a bit of an age gap um, either way, younger or older on their part. Um, your energies might not have been aligned if they've been in your in your past, but they're coming into alignment. The person is still a little bit um, unsure of how to proceed towards you, but they do want this. They do want this new beginning with you. They're very passionate about you. 
that's what I'm feeling. And yes, so here, this clarifies what I just said. They're, they're unsure how to move forward with you, definitely. And they might have run away in the past um, and just ghosted you is what I'm getting. Might have cheated, but I'm definitely getting, it was more like an immature energy of not knowing what they wanted. So they just ran and they were scared. They, they were pretty scared of, of their feelings because they do actually feel a lot for you. And the, yeah, confusion with the water here. They've been through a lot of, and might still be going through a lot of confusion and they can't see that way forward, but they want to, they want to move forward. A lot of fire here again, so certainly fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you're being called to be patient. They are going to come in. You are going to have this new beginning. Um, both of you are waiting, that's what I'm getting at the moment. Um, you kind of know there's going to be a change in this situation. It's going to move forward. But we need to wait for divine timing. And a message is going to come in for you quite soon. This month is what I'm getting. Within, the, within this month, definitely. And you, yeah, you're really going to need to um, meditate and take time out to decide what you want in this situation. Because it is going to, like, things are going to really change drastically for you. Either way, either this is shedding people or shedding behaviours, um, patterns, thoughts. So you're going to need that time out in order to, to do that. Um, and so to clarify then, we got the Four of Cups and the Magician. So yeah, you're going to manifest, I feel. Um, and this other person might as well. So it's going to be dual. A lot of thinking about each other and manifesting this future that you've got your sights set on, this Ten of Cups. Notice the two cups here. So this is like the Two of Cups, yeah? Soulmate energy, um, an offer from the universe is, be, is going to be made to you, definitely, with all the elements, everything coming together for you. Um, bottom of the deck the seven of pentacles so you are going to need to work on this so is the other person um can also be finances some of you are work just working at the moment but I, i'm getting in this situation that this is a love situation and the person previously yeah might have been guarded so that's why they they essentially walked away from you or you it could be your energy as well okay let's see if anything else comes out for you Virgo for advice Ooh. there you go there's the Two of Cups that I just mentioned, soulmate. So at the moment, this is at the moment or the past, you've really been in your head about this and so is the other person um, having sleepless nights because obviously they've walked away. Could be an Aries, by the way. Um, someone very independent though, older, still getting age gap here. Um, but they're your soulmate and they're your wish fulfillment. 
So keep um, working on this, like meditating, going within to try and stop those thoughts going around in your head. Because I think that's, you know, can be your worst enemy generally. Um, yeah, you're gonna have you're gonna have a good time in your in your future. Things are gonna work out for you definitely. It's really really positive here. This reading and lucky. Okay, Virgo. So I hope that might have resonated for some of you. Please do like, comment, and subscribe if it did. And I hope to see you again soon.